find that we're actually getting somewhere, we're doing something, we've got young people involved, and we all did it for a reason. It's not, you know, you'd have to be crazy to walk out there for 56 days and say, well, this is it, I'm now the first Australian to the North Pole, and that was enough for me. Any polar bears? Lots of tracks, and amazingly enough, the tracks of Arctic fox, 30 miles from the North Pole. Now, that, that little guy's 400 miles from the nearest land on moving sea ice, and here are his tracks. Just what did he live on? They follow the polar bears and they live on what the, the leftovers of what the polar bears have killed, the what seals. I see, yeah. Right, so it's seals, polar bears and then the... The arctic fox. What sort of... I, I know you've, you've given us a, a graphic detail already of, uh, of the sort of land that you found there and the conditions and the, the sadness, of course, that pollution has reached there. But as I mentioned to Ita talking about children today and the violence which is perpetrated against them, Seeing what you've seen, are you now an optimist or a pessimist? I mean, is there a chance for us? Are we going to wake up to ourselves? I've always been an optimist, Bert, and I'm certainly going to stay that way. I believe people will. The, the essence is in education. So that instead of saying, this is really the problem, and everyone thinks the problem is immense and I can't do much about it, we need to then say, as Ice Walk is going to say around all the schools in this country, with its education project, that there are solutions and each and every individual can contribute and our student expedition was living proof.